everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Naomi if you're new here and today I have a boohoo haul which I'm so excited about I made this order on boohoo about a week ago and it's just arrived today so of course go ahead and film because I'm really excited I think I have some lovely pieces let's see how we get on so I have this huge bag of stuff in here and I'm just gonna open it up now and see what I got basically excuse me wearing this pink jumper again as well by the way I'm literally living in this I'll also make sure everything is linked below, so if you do like any of these items, definitely go check the links out below. I think I got these on sale, I think it's 30%, 30%, it's 30% off at the moment on the Boohoo website, which is amazing, and yeah, I hope you like these things I picked out. So this is the first thing I got, and it's an oversized white, t well I don't think it's that oversized to be honest, it's a t-shirt, what size do I get in a large, so I wanted this really oversized, and it's obviously not that oversized, but I think it'll make it work, and it just has La Soleil, La Lune, et La Lune, so the sun and the moon, I think that stands for it. Pretty self-explanatory because there's a picture on there, but yeah. Um, I just love this t-shirt. I think it'll be lovely with some like high-waisted denim shorts in the summer and spring. And also like maybe some cycling shorts. It depends how big it is. I got this, like I said, in a large, which I think is definitely size up if you do want it oversized. If you want this tight fitting, then stick to your size. But if you do like an oversized t-shirt like me, definitely go up, I'd say maybe even two sizes if you can. Um, but yeah, I love the print of this. Why am I holding it up like this? I'm gonna do it around. I absolutely love the design of this print. I'm also just gonna get up on my phone the prices of everything because they don't leave the little invoice in there anymore, which is quite frustrating when you're trying to film a video and tell everyone how much it was. But let's get it up here and see. Obviously, we're saving the planet. We're not using paper, which is a good thing. Oh yeah, so that top was nine euro eighty. And I think I got some discount on that. I'm not 100% sure it's not showing me. But 9 euro 80 for a t-shirt isn't too bad, I don't think. Okay, so the next thing I picked up were these shorts. And these are like a loose fit um, short. I'm going to just read out what they're called. High waist dad denim short. And these are in a size 12 I got because I don't want them to be too tight. In. But now I'm thinking because they're a dad short, were they going to be loose anyway? I don't know. It doesn't seem too big but um yeah i just thought these are like going to be a little bit longer so i'm not 100 percent sure on what they're going to look like on hopefully they do look nice but i just thought again this with that t-shirt could be really nice to wear with a little laptop top and um, a nice belt you could even wear these like with boots and stuff i just think it's a really easy piece that kind of is like an essential in the wardrobe especially spring summer so i'm loving these so far sorry you're just reading something <laughs> maybe later oh and they're only 14 euros so again not bad for a pair of shorts i feel but yeah i'll try them on Okay, so I've just put on the t-shirt and I actually don't mind it being this size. I think it is still quite fitted, but it does look nice with this outfit, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Um, and then I've just obviously put the shorts on. I actually really like these shorts. I'm not mad at the fact that they're not as long as I thought they were going to be. Um, I just put a little belt with it just because I felt it brought the whole outfit together. Um, yeah, I don't know. I do actually like this outfit. Let me know what you think the shorts fit really nicely as well so i do like a little bit of room i don't like it to be too restricted with the shorts um and you probably just to be honest i could have done this belt up a little bit tighter just to kind of cinch me in a bit but i didn't bother to do it there yeah so that just obviously pulls my waist in a little bit more the top is a little bit bunched there so just ignore that at the back but again it's really flattering on the back i find um yeah let me know you could also do this with the belt if you wanted like leave a little bit sticking down there and I tend to like that look quite a lot if you see my Instagram um, and yeah, I absolutely love this outfit I definitely will be keeping these two things if you do like them let me know in the comments not too bad for outfit number one I guess okay so the next thing I bought was a bodysuit and to be honest my body isn't the right shape for a bodysuit just because I find they very clingy and this material did look a lot thicker on the website on the model and now I've got it it literally is the most flimsy material as you can see it doesn't even have poppers so I don't even know how much room there's going to even be in, in there. It's probably going to show my bra through as well, which is really annoying. But we'll give it a go and see what I think. Um, so it's just got like a square neck, which I'm obsessed with, and the little straps. I prefer a bit of a thicker strap on the top half. Yeah, so I'll try this on and let you know what I think, obviously. just want to check the price for this again. Okay, so the price for this was €11.20. So not bad if you like a tight-fitted bodysuit, I guess. We'll try it on. Okay, so bodysuit is on, and you know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What the hell is going on? Like, I'm converted to a bodysuit. I find it does skim everything. Like, it doesn't obviously cling as much as I thought it was going to. Um, I'll just take these little flabby bits here. I find it really flattering around the neckline, especially if you have bigger boobs. It's just kind of a little bit more flattering. Um, yeah, I actually am obsessed and I love the colour as well. So, like, 11 90 for a top 
isn't bad. This could go with some lovely joggers as well. Like I got some pastel blue joggers coming as well, which I'm so excited about. So I'm actually going to pair that with this. I think that'll look really nice. And uh, sorry if you can't actually see my bra through there. We'll just pretend that didn't exist. Um, and yeah, I just put it with the shorts again, which I think is a nice little outfit for spring too. I'm actually really impressed with this, to be honest. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. Like when I look back on camera, it's probably going to be hideous. But I find in person it looks okay. Okay, I just want to say like, was I feeling okay when I did this haul? Because another bodysuit and it's white like i never buy anything white just because of the fact that it'll only wear once and that is before i even wear it um but this is obviously like a little milkmaid um bodysuit it's got like the under the boob under the boob no it's got this like what's that word i don't know that detailing um around the breast area and it's a bodysuit again this one actually has clips which i find will be a little bit easier although i do actually love this one um yeah so i'll try this on now i don't really like the material just because it's that kind of Oh, I don't know. It's like a, quite a thick material, which I think won't be breathable in summer. But yeah, I'm going to try it on anyway and see what I think. This one was priced at €11.20 again. So a really affordable top, which is amazing. Like, I just actually love Boohoo prices, especially when they do a sale. Um, I feel like you get used to it as well. And then when you go on other websites, you're kind of like, hmm, could I get this on Boohoo for a bit cheaper? Usually you can. Why am I not focused? I better have been focused in that whole shop. Thank you. Okay, so I put the top on. Let's be prepared for an epic fail because this top does not flatter me in the slightest. Like, if you have any way larger boobs than normal, do not go for this type of top. Why did I do that to myself? Excuse me, little dog. Are you doing something down there, please? Can you be quiet? Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to step back and you can see how much of a fail it is. And I'm probably going to have to hold them in, basically. But yeah, I'll show you. Okay, so... <laughs> This is the top. Obviously, I'm covering up the, any of this area before we get any overspills. This would have been really nice if it didn't have the cups, I find. It's just the cups that have ruined the whole top for me. Um, I love the neckline again. I'm all for a lower kind of straighter neckline. I think they're quite flattering. I love the little puff sleeves as well. I think they're really cute. And then it also goes really nice with the shorts, which I'm just obsessed with now. I wore them in every outfit I've tried on. But yeah, just the material does nothing for me either. So... Yeah, these are, this top is definitely going to have to go back, which is a shame because it is really cute, but just not on me. Okay, so the next thing I got, again, I'm not mad on, just because, not mad on, I'm not mad about because I had a completely different visual in my head for this dress and it's just not turned out to be what I expected. Um, I asked my mum about it and she thinks it looks nice, but I don't know, I just styled it up a little bit because I don't really like to wear girly dresses. I kind of like to make them a little bit more edgy with some like I don't know I'd love to get a pair of Doc Martens to go with like literally everything maybe not the real ones I've seen some on ASOS I might get or some black sandals that I did post on my Instagram I think would look really nice with this so just keep that in mind if you are kind of looking at this outfit and thinking mm. the only thing I want to say though is the material doesn't feel like how I expected it's kind of flimsy it's a real like soft kind of material almost like you're in your pajamas like you're in a nightgown do you know that kind of way like but yeah I'll let you make your own opinions on it when I show you in a second so the price of this anyway I'll just tell you this was 18.90, which I didn't realize. Sorry, guys, I just had to like remove some of the footage on my camera because it was not enough space. So I don't know where I was left off talking about this dress. But yeah, basically, I'd love to get the ASOS black chunky um, boots, which I'll link down below. If you haven't seen them, I'm obsessed. Or a black chunky sandal. I think this will just make it look a little bit more less girly and a little bit more. I don't know what the right word is, but a bit more me. And my curls have dropped out my hair. That is so annoying. My hair used to hold curls really well, and I was just literally like limp. But yeah, this is the dress. Don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments if you do like the dress. If you don't, let me know as well because obviously I need to know if I want to send it back or not. But yeah. Okay, so the last thing I then picked up. Now, this is a bold, brave move for me because one, I probably shouldn't wear two tight things and I didn't think it would be, but two, the colour. And the pattern so it's this and i just had an image of this in my head again with black chunky sandals and maybe that white t-shirt that i wore at the start of the video with the moon and the sun on i just think that would be a really nice look again with a big statement belt i think would be really cool and um, i love a bit of ruching if you didn't know already ruching is life um especially if you've got a few more curves kind of just a little bit more flattering it kind of skims over all the little little bits you know so yeah i'm just gonna try this on and let you know what i think oh god i feel like i've been filming this forever and absolutely sure where's it going okay this skirt was 14 euro so i'm hoping it's gonna be okay for 14 euro if it's not i'm not gonna be mad okay so this is the outfit here and to be honest i'm absolutely loving it i'm low-key obsessed with this skirt i just think it is so flattering obviously i just took that up a little bit more i just think it's really flattering and on the front also i love 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 a bit of ruching just paired it with a belt because that is obviously again how i would normally wear it 
Um, I'll probably get a different belt. No, I wore this belt with every outfit, but I do need some more new belts. I know what you think of the skirt, like it's not to everybody's cup of tea, but I just do, I really like it. So that's it for the Boohoo haul. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Let me know of any brands that you would like to see haul videos of. I'd love to do more. What was your favourite outfit? Like, please let me know your honest opinions on some of the pieces in this because I'm a little bit afraid to wear them, but hopefully I will. Yeah, so I do hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.